How many of you know what we're going to do today? What are we doing today? Oh, that's later. Good. Thank you. But we're going to go later, and I've rather mentioned this. At 1.30, we're going to go to Glen Forest Pool. And we're going to go, some of you are graduates of Glen Forest High School. I was not. I'm not in high school. Nonetheless, we're going to go there, and we're going to throw the cross into the pool. And some of you are going to be diving for the cross, which is a beautiful tradition that people did in Greece or in Martin Spring, where it's a little warmer. Because I'm not going to make you go into the cold lake, we're going to go use the pool. You guys okay with that? Yeah. What else are we going to do today? Good. So we're going to bless water, we're going to make holy water, we're going to use the cross, we're going to dip it into the water, and we're going to make my young home. What do we celebrate today? What is the day that we are celebrating today? Who knows? Good. The baptism of Jesus Christ. How many of you remember your baptism? Probably none of you actually remember your own baptism. Why? Why don't you remember your own baptism? Huh? You were really young. Now, for us old people, you're already really young. But when you were baptized, you were baptized about seven, eight months old. So you don't remember your own baptism. How many of you have seen another baptism, someone else's baptism? Good. So we are celebrating today Jesus' baptism. Does Jesus, did Jesus remember his baptism, do you think? Why? How old was he? Approximately. Right. Yeah. 30 years old. So he was 30 years old. He was an older person when he was baptized. But we are celebrating his baptism today, and the whole world, when Jesus was baptized, changed. In fact, by tradition, and if you go on YouTube, how many of you know how to use YouTube? How many of you guys know how to use a rotary phone? For old, everyone. Oh, I get your guess. We know how to use a rotary phone. How many of you know how to use a rotary phone? None of you. How about a cassette deck? Anyone? Didn't think so. Do you know how to use YouTube? If you go on YouTube, you can take a look there. There is something called, there's a video of Theophany at the Jordan River. And you'll see that the Jordan River on Theophany day, the Jordan River actually turns, its, it flows one way usually, and then on the day of the day, it actually starts flowing the other way. It is a miracle which happens every year. Why? Because Jesus was baptized in his own river. And because he was God, and because the Jordan River even, all things recognize God. Why do you think even creation, even water, even the sky, even the mountains, why do you think they recognize God? Because God created it. Good. So even the Jordan River recognized God and was startled. It was a little bit amazed that all of a sudden God who created it was walking into the Jordan River. So baptism, why do you think you get baptized? To wash away all our sins, good, what else? To be closer to God, good, what else? To be pure, good, to be purified, what else? What religion are you entering? To be a Christian, okay? To become a Christian, you are joining a group of people which are called Christians, and more specifically, what church are you joining? Proper Life is one of them, good boy. What else? What's the bigger name? The Greek Orthodox Church. So you are being baptized and you are entering into the Greek Orthodox Church. So you are beginning something. What do you think Jesus is beginning today by his baptism? Good. Today is the first day that Jesus goes out and he begins something. He is beginning his ministry. How many of you pray before you eat supper? How many of you don't pray before you eat supper? Hmm. We gotta fix that. 2019 New Year's resolution. Before you eat supper, you should do what? A 
prayer, a cross, something. How many times do you see you getting a dad's car or a mom's car? She does a cross. Some of you, hopefully, okay? The you, you when you begin something new, ask God for help. Right? How many of you have ever asked God to help you on a test? Some of you. As you get older, you'll get more of that. Because the test will become harder. So when we are beginning something, we are asking God for His help. And now this year, we're very blessed to have the opening on a Sunday. Will you guys be present? I know some of you are going to stay and watch the Ayatmo, which is a beautiful ceremony that we do on January 6th. And it is something that you can enjoy because it is the new beginning. New Year's resolution, 2019, new beginnings. Jesus is going to go teach. You are going to become better and better this year than you were last year. God bless you. And we're going to have two lines of communion on this side.